Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss five amazing techniques of pivot table. So let's get started. Here we have sample data table that we are going to use to create a pivot table. So we can click anywhere on this data table. We need to go to the insert tab. We will click on pivot table option. And in this window, we just need to make sure the data selected is same that we want to be selected. So if we come down, you can see the full table is selected already. So this is OK. As we want to create pivot table in new sheet. So here option new worksheet is already selected. So this is also OK. Now we can click on OK. You will see immediately a new sheet is created in which we can create pivot table as per our requirements. As a starting point, let's say I just pick customer name field and I will drop it in rows and I pick sales value and I drop it in values. So here we have a simple pivot table in which we have customer names along with sales to these customers, right? Now, what is the first technique of pivot table? The first technique is in pivot table, we can create new custom fields. As we have here customer names along with sales values, let's say we want to add here sales tax field. If we come to pivot table fields, we don't find here sales tax field, right? So how we can create here a new custom field that is not available here? We suppose that sales tax is 15% of the sales values. So we know that which field we want to add here, we want to add here field sales tax. And we also know what is the formula of calculating that field. We know that that will be 15% of the sales value, right? So now we can create custom field. We need to click anywhere on our pivot table. Then we need to go to this pivot table analyze tab. In this tab, we need to go to this option, fields, items and sets. If I click on this option, I need to select calculated field. In this window, insert calculated fields, we need to fill these two fields, right? First field, we need to give name to this field that we are going to create. As we said, we want to create here field sales text. So we can simply give it name as sales text. So I will write here sales text. Now next that we need to fill, we need to fill here, here formula that how this field will be calculated. As we said, sales tax is 15% of the sales value. So I will simply re remove zero from here. I will double click on sales value. So we have here field sales value, multiply it with 15%. So result will be sales tax. I will click on OK and you will see immediately we have here a new custom field. This new custom field is available in our pivot table and it is now available here in pivot table fields. So in this way, we can easily add new custom fields in our pivot table. Let's try one more field. Let's say we want to add here gross value. This is sales value. This is sales tax. Let's say we want to add here gross billing value field. So to add new fields, same procedure, same steps we need to follow. We need to go to the pivot table analyze field or tab. We need to click on this option, click on this calculated field. In this window, we need to give name to the field that we want to create. Let's say we give this name gross milling value formula. As we said, this will be total of sales value plus sales tax. So double click on sales value plus double click on sales tax so that it come into our formula. We will click on OK. And now we have one more new custom field that is total of these two fields and named as cross filling value. So this is the first technique in which you can easily add new custom field in our pivot table. So what is second technique? Second technique is you can delay auto update of layout of your pivot table. How we can do this? Here we have an option deferred layout update. Now, as of now, we know that whenever we just drag and drop our field, our pivot table updates immediately. You can see if I just pick 
and drop it back the cross billing value you will see our pivot table updates immediately in case we don't want it to be updated immediately we need to select this option we need to activate this option defer layout update now in this case we have this option activated when i will just drag or drop you will see that our pivot table is not updated till we click on this button update if i click on this button after this field is activated you will see our pivot table is updated after we click on this button so this is the second technique in which your pivot table has huge data you just want to uh, add drag and drop and you don't want to update your pivot table you just make this option activated so that your pivot table does not update immediately so what is the third technique now the third technique is we can convert our values into different percentages for better data analysis as an example let's say we want to know that out of this total 100% sales we know want to know that what is percentage of sales to this customer alehsan what is percentage of sales to this customer american motors zahid group etc so for this what we can do we can right click on this field we can go to the show values as and from here we can select any of the option whatever we want to see as we want to see these values as percentage of total of this column so we right click we go to the show values as and we can select this option percentage of column total if i select this option you will see that now these are percentages as compared to this 100% of the total value so in this way we can easily analyze that out of this 100% sales we have 18% sales to this customer alehsan 20% to american motors sahit tractor we have around 13% and so on so in this way we can use different percentages for better data analysis in our pivot table to bring back from percentages into numbers we can do the same steps right click go to show values as we can go to the no calculation and you will see that values we have here in place of percentages so this is the third technique that you can use in pivot table for better data analysis now the fourth technique is playing with dates in pivot table let's say we want to know that in which year in which month how much sales we have for that here we have a field invoice date i will just pick and drop it in rows now you can see the full data is a mess we don't understand as we said we just need to know uh sales by month and year but here we have mess we have sales by date right so how we can arrange it we can just right click on this we can go to group and in this grouping window we have different options we have to we want to we have option to see sales as in seconds minutes hours days months quarters years etc as we said we want to see only in terms of months and years so we can just select only months and years after that i will go for okay and you can see now our data is quite simple we can easily see that in january we have these sales this sales tax this gross billing value and we have sales as a break up to these customers right in 2024 we have these sales and if we come down in 2025 we have these sales right so this is the fourth technique in which you can play with dates to have the better data analysis to see sales in terms of years months etc the fifth technique of pivot table is use of slicers we can use slicers for better data analysis in pivot table how we can insert slicer we need to go to the insert tab in insert tab under filters we have here an option slicer i will click on slicer you will see insert slicers window appears from this we here we have all the fields that we have available in our pivot table under pivot table fields window so from here we can click any fields that we want to use for data analysis or comparison let's say we want to see sales in terms of items that for which item how much we have sales so i will just select this field item i will go for okay and you will see that here we have slicer in which we have all the items that our company 
has sold. So let's say we want to see how much sales we have for AC filter. I will click on AC filter and you can see AC filter. We have this sale. We have sales to American Motors and Zahi Tractor. Let's say we want to see sale of backlight item. I will click on backlight item. We will see that backlight item we have sold to these customers and this is total value of sale to each customer. In case we want to see sale of more than one items, we need to click here. You can see multi select. And let's say we want to see sale of backlight, battery, brake pads, and you can see whatever we want to select, we will simply select. And it will include sale of all these items in our pivot table. So, this is the fifth technique that you can use in pivot table for better data analysis and to get the more benefit from your pivot table. So, friends, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. You have learned something from this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Microsoft Office Tutorials. Also, don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.